Okay, let us learn something about the composite numbers. What are composite numbers to start with? Composite numbers are those numbers who have the factors which are not, not only 1 and the number itself, but something other than that. For example, a simple example 42. What are the factors of 42? Okay, so we generally do this by the tree method or continuous division method, isn't it? So, you start dividing by all the prime numbers you know. Okay, so we start from the 2. So, what is this? 21. 2 is a prime, even though it is even in nature, it is the only even prime. Okay, so apart from 2, all the other even numbers are composite numbers. Okay, so now when I divide again, 21, now I cannot divide by 2, I have to divide by what is the next prime? 3. If I am able to divide, that does not mean that always you have to come to 3 and then 5. In that order, you will proceed. You start with 2, if it is not, then go to 3, if it is not, then 5 and then so on. Dividing only by the prime number. So, what do you get here? 7. Now, 5 again I cannot use, even though that is prime, because 7, 5, it will not be divided. So, I use 7, get a final answer as 1. So, can I write 42 as 2 into 3 into 7? Yes. 6, 7 are 42, 2 into 3, 6, 6 into 7, 42. But individually, all these numbers are prime, even though 42 is composite. 42 has a factor 1 and 42, of course, no doubt about it. Every number has 1 as the factor and the number itself is the factor for its own. But apart from these two, these three are also the factors of 42. In fact, 21 is also the factor of 42. Okay, but any number, composite number, can be written as the product of its prime factors. Can we take one more example? Let us see. 280. Okay, let us find all the prime factors of 280 starting right from 2. So, that gives me 140. I have to keep on using 2 till I am able to do it. Okay. So, again you can use it. 70. Again I can do by 2 gives me 35. Now, can I use 3? 2 of course, I cannot use because this is an odd number, this is even. 3, of course, 35 cannot be divided by 3, we know that. Let, next is 5, that gives me 7 and then 7, 1. So, 280 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 7. This is a composite number written as the product of many prime numbers or even their powers. For example, I am using 2 3 times, so I can write it as 2 to the power 3 into 5 into 7. Here, I have written 42 as 2 into 3 into 7. All are coming only once. Here, 2 came 3 times. So, I wrote 2 to the power 3 into 5 into 7. So, the thing that we are seeing here is any composite number. You can take any composite number. Continuously divide it by prime number. You can write a composite number as the product of many prime numbers. Now, what is more important is you can change the order. If I do not want to write in this order, I can write 280 is equal to 7 into 5 into 2 to the power 3, nothing wrong in that. So, finally, we see that every composite number like 280, 42 or for that matter any composite number you can think of can always be written as the product of its prime factors. They are all the factors, this 2, 5, 7, they are all factors here, 2, 3, 7, they are all factors. So, any composite number can be written as the product of the prime factors of that number. You can irrespective of the order, that is not necessary. You can always change the order, that is not necessary. Though uniformly it is taken as we start from the smallest prime factor and they go to the higher order like 2, 5, 7 and so on. It is not generally used in this format. Okay, So, that is one thing, but otherwise this fundamental theorem of arithmetic that is what it is called which states very clearly that every composite number can be written as the product of its all the prime factors or the power of the prime factors this 2 with the power that is also fine. So, in a particular order irrespective of the order the answer is the same but we try to keep an order and this is known as fundamental theorem of arithmetic and this can be used to find HCF as well as LCM for various numbers and we will use that now. So, now using this fundamental theorem of arithmetic that is we will find prime factors of couple of numbers and see whether we can use that method also to find HCF as well as LCM. Okay. So, let the numbers be say 48 and 68. 
So, first we will find the factors, is not it? So, I can start dividing by 2 to start with 2 if it is possible, of course. This is possible. So, 24, then I go ahead, continue with 2 only till I am able to, and then go to the next numbers. So, this goes 12 times, again 2, 6 times, again 2, 3 times, then 3, and then 1. So, 48 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, 4 times, 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16, 16 into 3 is 48. Similarly, I can find for 68, start with 2, what do I get? 34, again 2 gives me 17. If you know 17 is a prime number, so I cannot have any other factor of 17 apart from 17 or 1. So, I divide only by 17, I can get a remainder of 1. So, 68 can be written as 2 into 2 into 17, ok. 2 to sub 4, yes. Now, I have written this composite number as the product of set of prime factors. Similarly, this composite number as the product of the prime factors of that particular number. Using this data, we can find both HCF as well as LCM. That is very simple actually. Again, this is just a revision. You have already done all these things in smaller classes. But this is just to once again tell you that these things are possible using the fundamental. This law seems to be so simple. We take it for granted, but it took some time for one Mr. Goss to do that and get ideas of HCF and LCM. Okay. So, now how do we find HCF? We take the pairs which are common. So, there is one pair of 2 which is common. So, I can take 1, 2 as common. And then another pair is there, isn't it? Yeah. So, another 2 I can take. After that, here you have 2, 2, 3. Here you have 17. So, there is nothing common between the 2. So, these one pair, another pair. So, for one pair, I will take the number. For another pair, I will take another same number. And now I can multiply 4. This is HCF. Okay. You can even do the same thing. Check it again using the 68 divided by 48 method or the method which we have learned just now that uh, Euclid's division algorithm. Using that also, you will get the same answer. Now, with the same data, how am I to find the L LCM? All you have to do is LCM is equal to you take the same thing. Okay. So, this 2 you can take, this 2 also you can take, which are the same thing and multiply with whatever is remaining. Whatever is remaining, you multiply. So, that is you have to multiply by HCF. So, what is this remaining? Another 2. There is a 2 here. There is a 3 here and there is a 17 here. So, these were remaining from the previous problem. For HCF, we did not take this. For LCM, we will take these 2 and also all those things that were remaining. And you multiply all of them. 2 to sir, 4 to say 8 to the 16 into 3 into 17, which is 48 into 17, if you multiply 816. This is the LCM of these two numbers. So, both HCF as well as LCM can be found using this fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So, you can always again cross check, you know how to find LCM of two numbers. It is a long division method. I hope you remember that. You keep on doing finding the prime factors at the same time arrive at all the prime factors, you multiply, you will get the answer as 816. Please see that LCM is always more than the given numbers or at least it will be surely, if, if it is more or it will be equal to the bigger of the two numbers. Sometimes between two numbers, the LCM turns out to be equal to the bigger number. HCF is always smaller than the given two numbers. That is another thing we must always remember. So, LCM and HCF, you can find using this fundamental theorem of arithmetic.